Hello guys, how are you doing? Today we'll start with the first episode of my tutorial series about Unity car controllers. I got my car here and my demo terrain. One important thing about the car is that the wheels are separated from the rest of the car. This is going to be a very important for cosmetics, for example turning wheels and rolling. And therefore it's best to have them separated. So let's get straight into it. We have our wheel meshes and the body right there, but we don't have the wheel colors yet, so let's start with that. First we create an empty game object and call it colliders or something like that. Next we create four more objects. We call them FL for front left, FR for front right, BL for back left and BR for back right. Also, yes, my accent is horrible. Next thing is going to be adding the wheel colliders. On this car the wheel radius is 0.35. Right now though, the wheel isn't where it's supposed to be. Let's fix that by selecting the corresponding wheel mesh and copying the transform. Then we go back to the wheel collider and paste in the copied values. As we can see the wheel is a bit too far below. We fix this by setting the Y value of the center to half the suspension distance. Now our collider is perfectly where it's supposed to be. We repeat this for all four wheels. At this point my dumbass forgot to set the position of the back right collider. We will need a box collider or a convex mesh collider on the body and the rigid body on the parent object. After that we create a folder and call it scripts. Inside of it we will create a C-sharp script. I call it car control for now. Drag it onto the body game object. We're ready to start coding now. Inside VS Code there will be the default functions and start and update. We will keep them. First let's start with the references for the wheel colliders. For that we type public wheel collider fl for front left FR for front right, BL for back left, and VR for back right. I suggest commenting wheel colliders so that you know you're referencing the wheel colliders here. Next up, we'll specify the values for engine torque and brake torque. For that, we type public float engine torque and public float brake torque. The only thing left to do is to specify the value for the maximum turning angle of the front wheels. For that we type public float max steering angle. Now we have all the references we need. Let's make our car move. We start with this if statement. It will check if the player is trying to accelerate. If that is true, we will apply the specified torque to the wheels. Now we repeat this for every wheel. Perfect, our car is now able to accelerate. Let's head braking now. For that we first copy the acceleration method. Now the if statement will check if the player is trying to brake. We only need to change the type of torque and plate to the wheels. Do this for all four wheels. Back in Unity, we can now see that the references are appearing in the inspector. We drag the wheel colliders into the corresponding references and set torque values to a reasonable value. And then we move the camera so we can see if the car is driving correctly. Now the car should be able to accelerate and brake. Back in Visual Studio, we are going to add turning. This method will determine how sharp the player wants to turn. We need to do this for both front wheels. Back in Unity, we set our steering angle to a realistic value like 45 degrees. The car is now able to accelerate, brake, and turn. Now we drag the camera onto the car's body. 
After that, we set the exposition of the camera to zero and fiddle around with the other values for better results. The camera is now able to follow the car. At the moment, the car is very slow, so we will increase the angle torque. Congrats! You now have your basic car controller. In the next episode, we are going to make the camera less stiff for a more realistic feeling. If you enjoyed this video or found this helpful, please consider dropping a like. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on the next episode. Until then, have a good time. Bye.